Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Process Builder. In this video, we'll see how we can call an invocable process from another process. Okay. So we have a problem statement, a very simple problem statement. Whenever an account is created, create a case record associated to it. Okay. So we'll go to our Salesforce org. We'll check for process builder. First, we'll create a invocable process. So we'll click on new. We'll see child process. And uh, the process starts when it's invoked by another process. So if I click on save, you will see uh, besides the name of the process you can see in bracket it is written invocable that means this process is uh, invoked by another process it does not start directly okay so here we'll specify object so for that we'll specify account object and we'll notice the help text also so here it's written the object you select here determines which other process can invoke it okay so for example if you select account so only processes on account or contact can invoke this process because we need to pass the account record or account id to this process so we'll save this we'll specify criteria And here we'll just specify no criteria just execute the action okay so we'll save this we'll go to the action and in the action type we will specify create a record we'll specify name as create case record for record type it has to be case record and we'll set the values of case okay so status value should be new and if required we can specify name we'll use field reference and we will use accounts name okay so accounts name will be populated inside case name also okay and we will save this so we have created our invocable process we'll just activate this process we'll confirm this pop-up that's it so we have already created our invocable process now we'll go to all processes and we will create a parent process which will invoke our invocable process okay so we'll specify parent process here as name of process and this process starts when record changes that is when an account is created okay so here i'll specify object as account we'll keep this condition start the process only when record is created we will save this we'll go here now, now in the criteria we will specify when an account is created and here we'll specify no criteria just execute the action okay we'll save this we'll go to the add action and in action type we'll specify processes okay so this means this uh, action for this particular process criteria will be calling an invocable process we'll specify call invocable process as name for the action and here we'll check for existing invocable process so we have child process which we created as invocable so we'll select this now here uh, you can see an s object variable so we need to pass the account variable into this process okay so only then that account will be linked to the case which is being created right so here we'll specify field reference and we'll specify select the account record that started your process okay and we'll choose this account record so that's it we'll save this that's it so we have created our parent process also we will just activate this process confirm this pop-up 
that's it so we can go back to setup and we'll check whether both of our process is working correctly or not and whether our parent process is invoking the child process correctly or not okay so i'll go here click on new account we'll try to create an account so invocable process we'll name it as we'll specify type as prospect and that's it we'll just click on save okay now our account record has been created we'll check the related list we can see case record is not getting created why it is not getting created i guess it got created but it didn't link to this account because we didn't specify account id i guess so we'll just check in the cases we can see this is the case i guess yes so uh, this is the case which got created and the name of case you can see it is uh, invocable process we just didn't specify the uh, account id here so we'll go back to process builder we'll check for the child process here where is the child process yeah so this is the child process we'll just open this yeah so we have not specified account id over here so this case didn't got linked to the account which fired this process right so what we'll do we'll just clone this we'll create a new version of this process we'll go here and add one more field and it's nothing but account id and we'll specify field reference for field reference we'll specify id of account okay so account id will use i will click on save and we'll activate this version okay now we'll go back to account tab we'll try to create an account we'll click on new test invocable will give it a name we'll specify rating and we'll just save this account record let's see if case is getting attached to it or not okay so you can see a case record has been created and it is available in the related list of this account okay so this is how you can invoke one process from another process right and uh, one advantage of using invocable processes like uh, if your child child process uh, is doing some creation of record and let's say if two three or more of your process want to do same action so in that case you can use the, the that particular child process in all of the uh, process and invoke it right so that's it if you have any other questions you can write it down in the comment section do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you